This video is sponsored by Lazy Squire Games and Legend of Keepers. Hello and welcome to Broadsword Wargaming. My name is Oliver and in this video we are going to be looking at several different things. We are going to build you an awesome diorama to show off your beautiful miniatures. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new paints by Scale 75. Apparently these drop paints revolutionize the way we're going to airbrush. Hmm, we'll see. And we're going to take a look at some awesome miniatures. I often struggle to keep my hobby motivation and my hobby mojo going, so working on something totally different and a completely different style of miniature can sometimes be just what I need. Undercoating these, I'm using Mechanica Standard Grey. Now, I'm not using black because I'm often using a lot of contrast paints now. They're, they're slowly making their way into my arsenal. Then I'll hit it with a highlight of white. This is just a 45 degree zenithal, and this will show up all the lovely details on these miniatures. Now we'll come back to those because another big part of this video is the diorama. I have to say I am probably more excited about these bits than I should be. Lazy Squire have created a whole ton of modular walls, floors, archways, bits and bobs for any diorama or board build or D&D game or Warhammer session you're doing. After just 24 hours on my PLA printer, the product is sublime at the end. I always struggle getting really nice detail pieces out of that printer, and this time they've done it first time round. The possibilities are endless, and my mind is already spinning with giant Blood Bowl board pictures, Mordheim boards, because I hate carving stone into foam, and this seems like the perfect way around that. With everything printed and ready to go, we're gonna get on with some painting. So using the darkest drop paint I have, this paint, it requires no thinning. It isn't meant to clog and it doesn't need much cleaning. And to be honest, I was expecting this would be a watery, thin mess, but it is not. Um, it does do what it says it's going to do. All I did was just drop a bit of this, no water, no thinner, and I all normally always thin the airbrush even just a little bit, but I didn't need to. I was concerned that maybe the coverage wouldn't be great from these lighter colors like this pink or purple, but it really is nice. I'm just spraying this as a sort of under zenithal, like a backwards zenithal, from almost directly below the model, not even at 45 degrees, at sort of 10 degrees. And then I do the same again with the lighter blue from the top. Now, all you're looking to do here is catch the very edges and just make sure the model has enough contrast, color, and interest. And I think this does. Honestly, I'm chuffed with this. I feel like this looks great. It's gone from nothing to this in a matter of minutes. I didn't need to clean the airbrush. I didn't worry about any clogs. It just flowed nicely. Now, unfortunately, I did only get sent a couple of paint pots. So I'm gonna try the rest out here. This will be on one of the other miniatures here from Lazy Squire. This is kind of a dark brown color. The coverage was nice. And then I highlighted it up with a kind of lighter brown fleshy color, trying to sort of represent leather as best as I could with the limited palette. And actually, again, I was pretty happy with the finish here as well. To test out the greens, I've got another miniature from the Kickstarter. This is sort of a cool wizard sorcerer lady. Um, I'm gonna give her some green trousers with a green top, and then I'm gonna highlight them up with the lighter green as well. It does look a bit like sick in the pot, but uh, it, it isn't when it goes on. It's just a really nice highlight color. And to be honest, with just these seven colors, we've got three really nice looking miniatures. And now that you've seen them, I guess it's a good time to talk about the Kickstarter here because I think you should get involved. Legend of Keepers is a 5th edition compatible series of four unique reverse dungeon adventures inspired by the Legend of Keepers video game by Goblins Studio. Building on the video game's ingenious theme of a monster-driven company defending its net worth of dungeons from marauding heroes, this campaign fully creates a 5th edition experience in which players could decide if they would rather play each dungeon as heroes or monsters or both, even going so far as competing against each other in role-playing teams. The campaign features an incredible array of heroes and monsters, all fully rendered as epic printable minis that can be placed in 3D printable dungeons. You've already seen some of these pieces in action and honestly, genuinely, I think they are really, really cool. So make sure to check out the Kickstarter, check out the link below and pledge your support for what will be an absolutely awesome game. I can't wait to play with more of these tiles and I'm sure you'll feel the same. So check the link in the description and let's go. Okay, so how are we going to about creating this baseboard, this little display board for your models? I love getting a picture frame from the pound shop. You can buy these for one or two euros at any kind of size with any kind of depth. Take the glass out, flip the wooden board over, 
and that will be the baseboard. It requires no cutting, it's no mess. And I've just placed all of these along with the little bits and bobs as well you get from the Kickstarter onto this baseboard. They've not been glued down or anything, but it's just giving us an idea of how this may look when we, when we get it all together. To glue the little plastic squares onto it, I'm going to use Uhu glue or Yuhu glue, but there are obviously other things you could use, but I had this to hand and to be honest, it lets you jiggle them around a bit to make sure it's all straight. Then I hit them with some spray cans. I did black and then gave it some greys at different angles, different colors of greys. I gave it a sandy color as well. And you end up with quite a nice, interesting looking piece. There are still plenty of details to go and I sprayed all of the crates and bowels up brown as well. The printed tiles didn't fit exactly into the picture frame. I couldn't get the size I wanted. So I'm gonna fill the edge up with some rocks. And to do this, I'm going to use the Geek Gaming Fast Dry Basing Glue and then drop in some of the base ready. Now you can do any color you like. I thought a light gray might keep it in feel with sort of a dungeon or this, this cellar that everything is going to be based in. But of course you could do this grass, you could do it muddy. You can do this in any color you like. To make sure everything is set and sealed and in place, I use the Geek Gaming Matte Scenic Sealant Spray. One coat, leave it for about 24 hours, and you're done. Now, having shown Kira the pictures of the miniatures after they'd been airbrushed, she decided to steal probably the best looking one and paint the rest of it up herself. This is Kira Elvenblood over on Twitch, my partner in crime and in life. And that's her absolutely disgustingly messy painting table. But she had a great time painting this. She told me this herself. And I hope you can see just how cool these miniatures really are. Now I need to get everything else painted up while she stole that one. So I painted the other two models and then got round to doing all the little details on the crates and on the board. So I got some silvers down where the nails would be. There's kind of a dungeon trap here. Now, I think this is probably actually wooden, but I wanted it to be metal so it would sort of keep in a vibe with everything else. Then I dry brushed some of the stones in various grades. You can, of course, wash everything if you wished. I washed the metals with non-oil, the classic black, gave it quite a thick coat in the end. And I also used the brass, Runelord brass, on this fiery little brazier. You could, of course, just give them an Agrax Earth wash or some other brown wash, but I'm gonna take everything one step further using more things I've not used very much. These are the Dirty Down Rust, Verdigris and Moss effects. I've only started using these recently and I found the perfect way to apply the Verdigris. Water it down to a wash-like consistency, make sure the pot is well shaken, make sure it is warm, and then grab a hairdryer once you've painted everything on and it will dry out perfectly. The rust is a very similar effect. It is water soluble, so you can use water to thin this until you get the desired darkness. Now I couldn't leave the fire just gray, so I got some Tamiya flat white and used this through the airbrush to try to simulate where the light would hit. I also have two drop paints left, the yellow. So I'm gonna use this to get the very lowest parts of the fire, because as we all know, fires are yellow, the lower they are and they get darker and black towards the end. I then got the red drop paint and painted this on at an angle and already it's starting to simulate the effect and the paints were very good. Then just to tie everything together, I got some pigments, something again I don't use often, but I just mashed this into any spaces on the board where I felt it needed a bit more color. And that is essentially it. A few printable pieces, some paint jobs, some spray cans, and as many effects as you want to do and you will have the perfect display board to show off your warband, your Blood Bowl team, or you can use this to play D&D, or in fact, the actual downloadable game by Lazy Squire Games. I know it's been a bit of a random video, but I just really wanted to show you all the different things I've been learning and using lately. And I hope you can take something from that. This doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be messy. And printing these tiles out means you can do absolutely anything with them. So before you go, make sure to check out the Kickstarter by Lazy Squire Games for Keeper of Legends. Go and check it out. Use the link below in the description and I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.